Hello everyone, welcome to today's video where we will be exploring one of the most fascinating and useful devices in Linux that is Devslashnol. If you are curious about what Devslashnol is and how it can be utilized, you have come to the right place. Let's dive right in. What is Devslashnol? Well, Devslashnol is a special file in Linux that serves as a sync for data. It is known as a null device. It is a virtual device that discards any data written to it and returns an end of file when read from. It is commonly used to discard unwanted output or to create empty files. The dev slash null file is typically located in the dev directory, which contains various devices, or we can say device file. It is accessible to all the user and can be utilized by any process or any command. So one of the primary use of dev slash null is to discard the output. For example, if you have a command that produces the unnecessary or purpose output, then you can redirect it to dev slash null to silence it or the suppress the error. The redirection is done using the greater than symbol followed by the dev slash null. For instance, you can do something like command and followed by the greater than symbol and redirecting the standard output or the standard error that is denoted by the 2 or the 1 and followed by the dev slash null so which can be helpful for discarding the standard error to the dev slash null so now let's see a particular example here on the terminal uh, what if i just do the ls on the terminal it will just list out the files and directory that is currently present on the parent uh, current directory so we can do something like ls and i want to redirect the standard output to the dev slash null we can simply use the redirection symbol and we can give the path to the dev slash null device so if i just press the enter as you can see that it has out it has redirected the standard output to the dev slash null so that was in case of the standard output now let's uh, type a command that will produce the uh, standard error so let me do the find to the root directory so obviously it's gonna uh, produce the permission denied error so we call it as a standard error and on the uh, linux uh, the standard error is denoted by the true and the standard output is denoted by one and the standard input is denoted by zero so let me just, uh, do two that refers to the standard error and i want to redirect it to the depth as if i press the enter as you can see that we just only get the standard output so that is what we want and we just successfully redirect the error to the dev slash null. So we don't want any chunks to our screen. We just only want the data that we are searching for. So now let's take an example of something else. What if we do echo hello world and we want to redirect it to the dev slash null. So as for the standard Linux command, uh, if we do the echo, hello world and we direct it to some file like file.txt and if we uh, it is already existing file now let's go with another one abc.txt and if we do the cat abc.txt as you can see that content is written to the abc.txt what if we just do the cat slash dev slash no so as, uh, as you can see the content is not written on the dev slash null that is because this is rule of the dev slash null that no content is written to it so that is not even made to write the data instead of that the one of the most use case of the dev slash null is to suppress or the silence the output that is uh, a standard error that is displayed on your terminal so i have already shown one example. and there you have it Dev slash null is a powerful tool in Linux for discarding the output and creating the empty files. It can help you streamline your command line operation and keep your system tidy. I, I hope this video has given you a clear understanding of what Dev slash null is and how it can be utilized. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and leave any question or comments you may have.